lovely China day. It's fresh air. <laughs> Couldn't ask for more. Look at this beautiful air. I'm going to have fresh lungs for the weekend. <laughs> Um, it's an interesting place to come to. I, I hate China. <laughs> I hate coming here. I'm sick of time and constantly putting tournaments here. It makes me sad. It really makes me really, really sad. <laughs> you get to go to some pretty eye-opening kind of places and I guess you're pretty grateful for that. Because I mean, it, it kind of where you come from and what you get and compared to some people is amazing. I mean, even just being here in China. Yeah, North Korea was a, definitely a big experience. But, Going to um, North Korea, just them having a, a pin of their leader walking around, I just thought that was weird. I'd imagine walking around with Jill and Jill and Jill and Jill around. It's, it's a very strange nation, but you know, not many people get to experience that. And I, I don't have any regrets going there. I probably, you know, it's a one in a lifetime. But yeah, North Korea is probably one of the probably one of the weird experiences I have in my football career. Um, 2010 Asia, uh, Asian Cup. Um, when she scored against Japan, I was I had my leg, my, I broke my leg that tournament, and when she scored, I was crying and crying and crying. And then after <laughs> after she um, after the game finished, I think I pretty much jumped on top of her, <laughs> kissed her, and said, "You saved my life." And it was kind of sweet in a way because before the game, she wrote me a little letter saying, "I promise you, I'll take you to the World Cup." So she sort of, you know walk the talk I guess. Yeah that kind of where I think time stands still for a little while. It's one of those ones you kind of watch it off your boot and you see it just going in and you're like oh it was a big relief actually. Yeah I was just unfortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. Oh it's always very entertaining. <laughs> I mean we've had some we've had some funny times together but we also we get sick of each other as well and we don't mind telling each other but it's just what it is if you speak the truth and you can deal with it then um yeah we get on well so it's, it's good fun. Apparently I don't function well when she's not around. I think a lot of havoc happens when she's not around. But yeah, she's definitely, you know, a good friend. And, you know, having someone around her, you know, keeps me positive and, you know, level-minded. Like I can vent out to her and she can calm me down a little bit. So she's been really supportive. But it's also good to have someone that understands you in a way, you know, football sense of things, you know, we're very passionate. We want to win and we want to, you know, be very successful as players and to be able to express that with a teammate and a friend and to share that with somebody it's very special. I remember you used to wear that Romario shirt. Yeah. Do you remember that? My and a singlet? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I blew up. Oh yeah because like you didn't have the screen. So I blew up and Joe was freaking out. I get that shirt. Yeah I remember that. <laughs> and you're like calm down it's only your shirt. And I'm like it's my shirt. <laughs>